Lloyd George, the new Prime Minister, would see no Republicans at Westminster. As pledged, they were to set up their own Parliament in Dublin. The basic question, of course, was withdrawing legitimacy from the Imperial Parliament. If elected representatives chose not to legitimise the Parliament by attending it, then whatever assembly they were in was the legitimate representative assembly for Ireland. There's nothing very new about this. There always have been illegal assemblies in Ireland. And indeed, of course, the Unionists in 1913 had been on the point of setting up their own provisional government. When they met in the Mansion House, 34 of the elected Sinn Féin members were in prison. The assembly, Doyle Aaron as it was known, reaffirmed the principles of 1916. In the name of the Irish nation, they declared an Irish Republic and their determination to defend it in every way possible. They also began the business of building an alternative state bureaucracy. The Minister of Finance, Michael Collins, set about raising a national loan. Here, Republican notables are seen making donations. By 1921, the Doyle had control over much of Ireland's local government and was operating its own law courts. The British declared the Doyle illegal. These confused pictures show the British raiding the Sinn Féin office in an attempt to harass those setting up the alternative state. Before British repression, the Doyle and its bureaucracy went underground. But with coercion came a political initiative, the Government of Ireland Act. <laughs> 